Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. I'm here at Sangha Studio in Burlington. Today we're going to a Y12 SR class to learn about the healing power of yoga. There's this quote that's like, trust the yoga, which I really, I believe in that. It's mysterious, like you show up and you do these poses and then all of a sudden like, all this other stuff in your life starts to move around. Yoga has been one of the biggest parts of the puzzle for me. Yoga has helped me replace any sort of negative coping devices I might have used in the past or isolating myself and I'm too scared to go outside. I walked here by myself this morning and that was a really big moment for me. I always have a place to come. There's always a community here. There's always people that love and support you. And I tell people all the time that there is not a single part of my life that yoga hasn't affected and improved. The mission of Sangha is to really make yoga accessible and affordable to all. So we are nonprofit donation-based studios. Sangha means community and it really does feel that way as you walk in the doors. What helped me in my toughest three months of sobriety, which were the first three months, always, it was having a safe place. It was having a place to go to when I was uncomfortable. You know, I moved here a few years ago basically to get sober and, and I struggled to stay sober, but also with finding community. Just made rich friendships here that I'll have probably my whole life. So I wanted to also practice surrender today with this class, so that's a theme that I keep coming to. So Y12SR is a class that weaves together the ancient philosophies of yoga with the practical tools of the 12-step program. The issues live in our tissues, so why not heal from the inside out? Addictive behavior could be gambling, sex addiction, work addiction, exercise, food. There's so many traumas. Loss of business, marriage, loss of child, loss of family member. I just feel so grateful to have both the practice of yoga and 12 steps and community. The more I started taking yoga, I realized the connection between my body, my mind, and spiritually. When I was in active addiction, there was such a separation. I just had no clue. I had no sense of what was going on in my body. It was like a foreign object completely, like something to just like use and abuse. Part of what's keeping me sober is that connection between my mind and my body and my emotions. And I was finally like at peace and comfortable and my mind wasn't going a bazillion miles a minute. I've been trying to get and stay sober for about five years now and been sober for most of the past two but this past year is the most rock solid recovery that I've had. About a year and a half ago I started doing 12-step recovery both healing from alcohol substance and eating disorders. Yoga has been the biggest catalyst of change in my life. I was struggling with anxiety and depression and it's uh, something that has kept me grounded since, since, so probably about 20 years ago. So I was thinking about why yoga helps with my recovery, and I think part of what drove me to drink so heavily was being uncomfortable at downtime. It's like helping me learn to sit through things comfortably. To continue to feel, to continue to open up to people. To express myself, to feel just different things, and kind of learn to accept where I'm at in that moment. Honestly, at first, Sangha freaked me out. But I kept coming back, which for me is what I know from recovery. You learn to show up every day. James, just put your shoes on and get there, and then you'll, you're will you gonna flow. So you learn to stay, right, like in pigeon pose. I don't think I can possibly tolerate this sensation any longer, but maybe I can, you know? And then you do, and then, it releases and you're like, wow. I was like, wow, I didn't just like quit. I can really feel grounded and take that deep breath, think before I speak and just feel like more centered in myself. And the tools that you learn in yoga give you access to that power for yourself. But it really is the skill that comes off the mat with you. And then you realize, okay, when I'm feeling this way, taking those deep breaths brings me back to center. Thanks, you 
It really is the mission of the studio to bring these supportive things out into the community. And then again, targeting certain groups that really might not necessarily be exposed to the healing power of yoga otherwise. We're at Cots, Lund, we're at Woodside, the Juvenile Rehabilitation Center. And so Turning Point is one of our locations where we also go to the location. The Turning Point Center of Kidney County is a peer-based recovery center. We see miracles happen there every day. 60% of our guests or more are in their first year of recovery, so their bodies have taken quite a beating. And here's a chance to kind of recalibrate your, your body through yoga. And people are just in love with it. And there's a, an amazing following. It relaxes the body, it centers people's focus, it's, um, and gives them a tool to help them deepen their recovery. And so we are delighted with it and offer it four times a week. Soften the hamstrings. Let go here. Shake your head. What are you holding on to? Just let it go. Camaraderie, community, and just this connection that, that has been built there and that I see in the yoga room. People start to connect to themselves. People then connect to community, to one another. And now, like, my best friends are in recovery and it's, like, the fellowship of it is so incredible. It created a new theme of continuity and community and a place where I can feel safe and learn and grow and ask questions. And the friendships I've made through recovery and through the studio, it branches out into my entire, like, life. I feel so grateful that I get to benefit from it, that I get to share it with others. I started their teacher training on Friday, so I'm going to be a yoga teacher. The other reason I want to get involved in service programs is I've lost too many friends to addiction. So I want to radically change and empower the idea behind recovery. There's nothing wrong with having struggled. Like, there's nothing wrong with needing help. Well, I just started sponsoring, so like that stuff gets me so excited. So I'm like, I know how you feel. I know what it's like to feel suicidal and hopeless and just letting them know that like that can change. I just want more people to come here and give it a shot. I just had no idea like the world that was going to open up to me. I'm so grateful to this place and these people. Say compassion, letting go, surrendering, to let love lead. I'm going to say. If you would like to learn more about Sangha Studios' 23 service programs or about their recovery programs, you can check out more on their website. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Oh, feeling stretched out. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and sign up for weekly email alerts. And try yoga because I know it helps me a lot. Oh, yes. I just want to give you a hug and tell you I love you and like that it's okay to struggle. It's okay to not be okay. You don't ever need to go through this struggle alone. That you got to this place as a way to survive maybe through really dark things and you don't have to do that forever. Maybe it's time now to move forward and to give yourself that second chance to realize like you deserve it and that we just need more of that in the world so that everyone can start feeling more okay, I think is my message.